With our early snow in the interior this year, wildlife managers with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game conducted moose population estimates in several game management units. Time, money, and hunting pressure contribute to the decision of which areas to survey in any year. It is too expensive and logistically impossible to count all moose living in a game management unit. Instead, biologists estimate the number of moose using a complex and rigorous scientific method of estimating numbers based on sampling a portion of the unit. The proper name for this method is the geospatial population estimator, but we typically just call it a moose survey. In a typical survey, a game management unit is broken up into smaller sample units, each measuring six square miles. These sample units are classified as high or low density moose habitat. Then a certain number of sample units, the more the better, are randomly chosen from the high density and the low density area for intensive observation. Conditions must be just right to fly moose surveys. This includes adequate snow cover so moose are visible, adequate daylight hours, bulls must still have their antlers, the wind must be less than 30 miles an hour, and the temperature higher than minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. When the conditions are all good, pilots with observers fly transects across the selected units looking for any moose. When they see moose, they circle them to determine the age and sex class of the animals, record the data, and see if there are any more moose in the area. The transects are tight enough that every moose in the sample unit should be seen and counted. This flying and circling is done all day, day after day, until all the sample units in the area are completed. As an example, this year a survey in Game Management Unit 20B was completed. The grid over Game Management Unit 20B had 1,628 units and 180 of those units were selected to survey. About 40 minutes was spent in each unit, which comes out to 120 hours of counting moose. The survey was completed in about 10 days with four pilot observer pairs, completing between five to eight survey units per day. Moose surveys were also completed in the McGrath, Galena, Toke, and Delta areas.